ghost vegan. It is really good. It is. Thursday Thunder. Mm -hmm. What's today? 22nd of November. 22nd of November. Holy crap. Yeah, we're at the tail end now. Literally four weeks till Christmas. And that's crazy. It's all happening now. And we're all rugged up in jumpers. Yes, yeah, yep. And on Monday, it was like stifling hot. I had every air conditioner in here mm -hmm. on. And today, it's like this morning, I put my heater on. Yeah, it turns on a When time. I got up this morning and I was sitting there freezing to death, and I thought, I'm going to put the heater on. I woke up at 5 o'clock to go for a walk. It was raining. I'm like, well, I'm back to bed. <laughs> I got through my walk. It wasn't oh. raining. Yeah. But, um... <laughs> okay. <laughs> But um, yeah, and it's a howling gale out there now, mm -hmm. and it's freezing. It was like before when I was driving to Millswood store, it was like 11 degrees. <laughs> At the end of, uh, yeah, well, of welcome to spring yeah. in Australia. Yeah, but two weeks time is going to be summer and yeah, that's going to be fun if it's hot. Hope so. Yeah. Uh, what's been happening? Not a lot. We started a new program, My Legs Are Sore. That is new, yes. Uh, yeah. We are focusing on supersets, which Super we sets. have yeah. not done. And opposing muscle groups. Yes, sets. opposing muscle groups, so antagonistic. Yeah. yeah. So when so one stretches, the other one's contracted. So usually cetera. like chest and back. Yep. Quads and hammies, biceps, triceps, mm -hmm. and um, delts and lats. Delts and back. Upper, yeah, upper. We, got, like, we do back like twice a week. And yeah. shoulder so moves twice again, a week. So again, they're opposing. So when we're doing chest. Yep. Then we're doing back pulling mm -hmm. exercises. Yep. When we're doing delts, as in pressing, then we're doing back pulling. Yep. Down. So yep. opposing type muscle groups. Um, day one and yes. two sucked. Uh, what did we do on day one? We did shoulders. We we're supposed to do legs. Yeah, oh, because our legs were too sore. So. Uh, so we did legs yesterday, and yep. that was like, like I said to you, first time squatting pain free in over a year and a half. We haven't squatted much, but we safety bar squatted, yeah. and um, I really enjoyed that. I was yeah. able to go a lot deeper than I normally yes. can yep. Same with here. a safety bar, but you can't use as much weight. No. So there's that trade-off. But yeah, I'm nice and sore. Um, apart from that, what else is happening? We've got a new pro. The US Nationals were on the weekend. Mm -hmm. and, and, um, so there was a lot of new pros, because they give out, they, do you know that they give out two pro cards per division now? Oh, okay. Yeah. We're trying to stack it again, stack it So the there was again. A, there was a lot of pro cards, but the most notable uh, pro was Hunter Labrada. Yeah, and he's going to go far. So Lee Labrada's son, uh, in his first nationals, won the overall. So he won his super heavyweight division, and he won the overall uh, USA Nationals champion. So um, another son of the legend. Mm -hmm. So um, the next one, the other one is Sergio Oliva Jr. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see when they compete. Oh, so you he got his pro card, did he? No. Yeah, he's oh. had it for like two I years. I thought he said like the yeah. I was thought. Yeah, I was no, I'm just saying in the pro confused. ranks, there's now two sons of ah, two okay. legends. Yeah, now we're on the, now we're on the same. Yes. Page. Okay, cool. So um, it'll just be interesting when um, they meet together on the pro stage. Yeah. That's what I'm inferring. To. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm there now. Uh, I think Hunter will win. Yes. He's got a very complete physique and yep. he's a big guy. He looks, he's, look, if you put his, him and Lee side by side in their prime, yep. it's pretty good. It's pretty identical. Then you look at Sergio Levy Jr. and then his father, there's big differences there. Yeah. Like muscle bellies, yes, the same. And it's really funny because like, Labrata, Lee Labrata is really short, but yeah. Hunter's a tall yeah. guy. <laughs> and he's a big guy, like he was a super heavyweight, which is over 100 kilos. I yep. think he was like 111 or something. So, something, something big. Whereas, uh, do you know how heavy Lee Labrata was when he competed? In his mid-70s? He won his pro card in his high 70s, high 70s and he yep. competed at about 85, yeah. 85 kilos so He wasn't max. the biggest guy, but he was just shredded to the bone. Yeah, so his son is 30 kilos heavier than him. <laughs> Back in my day, son. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, interesting. Um, all the other pro winners, I don't know who they were. Yeah. And they did say, I listened to a podcast this morning, they said the quality of the other divisions wasn't that good. No. Um, Larry Wheels competed. Mm -hmm. yep. We've spoken about Larry Wheels yep. and his superhuman strength. Um, I think he finished in the top half of the top ten. Yeah. Meaning like ninth or tenth yeah. or something. Yeah. I don't think he's got a bodybuilder's type. He physique. doesn't. No, he's just... like when he's lifting and he's in it without a shirt, he looks phenomenal like a bodybuilder. Mm -hmm. But when he's on stage posing as a bodybuilder, 
there you can see the shortcomings and that sort of blocky power lifter type yeah, physique yeah. he has. Yeah, he's got a very big neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Big neck. Um, all right, I wanted to address something, and we've addressed this already a couple of times, but it just keeps popping its head up, okay. and that is sponsorship. Ah, uh, yes. And, uh, you know, people are constantly... I've had this week, I think, three private messages mm -hmm. for sponsorships. Yep. Um, from people that I have never seen before in my life or know what they're doing mm -hmm. or anything like that. Now, I just want to, and I've, we've said this before, but just a couple of hints when you approach any company for sponsorship. Mm -hmm. I feel if you Facebook message or social media message any potential company for sponsorship, it's, it's pretty well gonna get ignored. Yeah. They must get them hundreds a day, like especially the major. Yeah, major and, and it's just to me, if you do that, all that means is that you are not making any effort to try and meet up with me and contact me in person. Yeah. And if you did that, chase me up, met me, etc., then I'd already be a little bit more impressed yeah. than you just send in a Facebook DM. Was it a um, like did it look generic? Did it say to him? Well it was uh, sort of like a generic message as well. But the other other part of the message was just inferring to himself all the time. Yeah, themselves. I'd like to partner up. Uh, you know, further my career, uh, improve me. Rah, rah, rah. There was nothing in the in the letter that uh, inferred to um, how he can help my company or slash if you're approaching anybody else, any other company. Uh, grow, yeah, yeah, with him as such. So it's sort of just like this it's is all for my benefit. Well, yeah, and then it, 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 they all boil down to pretty well like I want you to just give me free shit. Yeah, you know. And again, if your letter implies that, you're not going to get a reply. Take note, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You you have to work together with any uh, as a, as any sponsor. He's going to want his company and want to know how you are going to help grow his company. Yeah. Alongside with yourself. Good. You know, so that's the first thing I'm going to do. And if you're hitting up me or anybody else for free subs and I've never seen you before and you've never used subs before yeah. as well, well, how about you come in and just buy some subs first? Yeah. And talk to us about helping you on what sort of subs you should use, etc., etc., mm -hmm. instead of just writing to us and asking for free shit. Yeah. And I, I, I've obviously, I don't ever get uh, to ask for a sponsorship kind of have anything, but I can only imagine that you would want someone who has sort of the same, the same demographic or same sort of goals as yourself. Like, to females out there, if they want to get a sponsorship, I can only assume, uh, not all businesses want to see your ass 24-7. Well, yeah, not just that either. But I think the most important thing is how you can convey yourself to the potential company sponsor mm -hmm. on how you're going to help grow their business yeah. along with how yourself. Cool. Yeah, I think that's the most important thing. And if you don't do that, even in your letter that you write, well, you're not going to get pretty well, might not even get a response. Yeah. Or you'll get the generic, no thanks, all our positions are full at the moment. <laughs> do you have that like copy and paste it somewhere? Just you know, drag it yeah. over. So, um, do that. I think I've always mentioned that if you're going to hit someone for a sponsorship, well, then maybe shop at their business for a yeah, while yeah. and find out don't, about them. And there's a good chance then you'll meet me. Yeah. Don't wear opposing brands. Yeah. Might yeah. be another good yeah, thing. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Don't wear an uh, yeah, opposition brand's yeah. clothing. And I want to help yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, moving right yep. along. Um, all right. I saw this question on social media mm -hmm. and I've seen it before. Um, but say if I was training here at the gym all the time, yep. Adrian, and I yep. came up to you and I said, why am I not growing? Mm -hmm. I'm coming to the gym here and I'm training, you know, four or five times a week. Why aren't I growing? What would your response be? Usually I'd ask how lift, how, like lift heavier. I'd just say lift heavier. Yep. And most people get, I can't lift heavier. So that would go into the not training hard enough yep. bracket, I yep. think. Or maybe not often, often enough. Often enough, not. Um, and not measuring. The progress of yeah, your training. We harp on that every week. Yes. Yeah. 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 So a lot of people come out. The other thing that I, I'll just digress here, but it applies to this, mm -hmm. is that a lot of people talk about the it's you know eighty percent nutrition, twenty percent. I mean, yeah, twenty yeah, percent yeah, training. 20, yeah. Um, I don't agree. No, I neither do I. No. no. I think it's it's still more about the training. Yeah. 
Yeah. Because I have seen guys, genetic freak guys, who um, eat like shit, yep. but train really, really hard and build really good physiques. Mm -hmm. And you, you have know? guys who eat on point, like every day, yep. but don't change. Exactly right, because they're not training hard enough. I actually had that here a couple of weeks ago when I was working here at the gym. Yep. I saw a gym member doing the leg press, mm -hmm. and he had four plates aside okay. on leg press, yeah. and he did 10 reps. Now we warm up on four plates yeah. aside. I had literally had a female client to, um, do 35 reps of four plates aside after yeah. stiff leg So I went over to him and just w I was chatting at the end of his set with him. And as I was talking to him, I walked around and I put three another three on either side. Yeah. And he goes, oh, well, you're going to train too. And I said, no, no, this is your next set. <laughs> and he goes, I've never done that before. And I'm there, you should be able to do this yeah. quite comfortably. Yeah. Like it's not really that heavy in terms of a leg press. And um, I said, I'm here to spot you, let's go. And he did 22. Yeah. 22 reps at seven plates a so side. Size, that's two, 330 including the... Yep, um, yep, he did 22 reps and it was the, maybe the last, maybe at 16, I came in and just yeah. sort of pushed him on and spotted him for another six reps. So he did a good, good 15 on his own. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he was then stunned. Yeah. <laughs> That he was able to do that, and yeah. I sort of said that pretty well any grown man should be able to do that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and that really was an eye opener to him. So, yes, training not hard enough, not pushing yourself, not trying to get make yourself stronger. Yeah. Like a lot of people coming in and go, oh, I'm just going to do three sets of 10 at 80 kilos. Well, mm -hmm. nothing's going to happen. That's why be uncomfortable. Yeah. If exactly you not. sit there and go, This is uncomfortable, you know it's different, yeah. and you should try it. All right, next thing, yep. tell them. Oh, we covered that here, obviously, yep. in the 80% rule, and that would be poor nutrition. Poor nutrition, yeah, not eating yeah. enough, eating too much at the wrong time. Usually, in trying to build muscle, let's, yep. let's not talk about losing weight or yep. body fat. In trying to build muscle, it usually boils down to not eating enough. Yes, and I love those people. And not, not eating enough of the right types yep. of foods. I love those people, because every time I'm like, oh, like, I eat so much, I'm like, okay then, yep. tell me through a day, and I'll tell you through a day, and then yeah. I'm like, that's like 500, like 1500 calories. And I'll give them a diet with like 27, 28, 29, even 3000 depending on the person. And like, oh, it's so much food, I can't eat that much. Like, right. Yes, you can. Three I always later. tell people, they come in and they do that to me as well. And it might be three o'clock in the afternoon. I'll say, all right, yeah, so what have you eaten today? Oh, well, today is a bit different. You know, no, today's exactly the same it's as every different. other day. Yep. Yeah, you've had bugger all to yeah. Again, and then not measuring yourself with your nutrition. <coughs> Just like with your training, Measure your training, try to progress, try to get stronger. Mm -hmm. Measure your nutrition. Yep. <coughs> Excuse me. If you're not getting bigger, if you're not putting on any weight, well, obviously, you need to increase your food. Mm -hmm. If you're putting on too much and putting on weight, but putting on a lot of body fat, yep. well, then you need to then decrease your food somewhere. Yes. So measure that input and output. And until you find that balance where you're just nicely, slowly gaining a little bit of weight every week, mm -hmm. a couple of hundred grams, you know, no more than a kilo. I think if you're gaining more than a kilo a month, you that, training really well, yeah. you're, some, that's just going to be body fat. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. So again, not measuring your progress with your nutrition. Uh, the other one that I'll put in there, and I think I'm a big believer in this, is that too much alcohol. Yeah, alcohol has been shown to <coughs> yeah. drastically decrease. Too much alcohol metabolism. slash partying. Good time to get a frog in the throat. Yep. Um, so, yeah, that's going to hinder your muscle gains dramatically. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. So, uh, and look, there could be a lot of other factors in there as well. Not enough sleep, a lot of stress, <coughs> but I think those three are the major yeah. ones you should once first you, look at. Once you go down the rabbit hole, there's a whole bunch of different things that, yeah. that could be affecting it, but mainly it's three, training, eating, and rest. Exactly right. Yep. So, um, yeah, look at those three. Um, if you have all those three that you think are doing the right mm -hmm. thing, but again, run them by someone who can assess everything yep. and then confirm that, yeah, you're doing everything right. Then there is other things that could be coming in, like stress, etc. sleep. Yep. Lack of sleep, I mean, sleep is really important. Sleep is very so important. So obviously yeah. everyone should know that anyway. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, have a look at those things, be honest with yourself and work on changing those and you'll start most of the game. Exactly. Yep. Um, all right, that's it. We'll just go through about what's happening mm -hmm. at Australian Muscle. So, uh, the knee sleeves we spoke about have been ordered. Good. Um, I got a confirmation from the supplier this morning, and they are well and truly into production. Good. And on track, hopefully, to be here 
in the first week in December. Excellent. Okay. So uh, looking forward to that. Um, I just mentioned our ghost way, which I am sipping on here. Ghost vegan. Um, so that is all in stock yep. at every store. Yep. And we now have got the ghost shakers in stock as well. So um, be quick, we've got limited supplies. Um, if you buy any two mixed ghost products, yep. you'll automatically get a ghost shaker. Good. So it doesn't have to be the vegan, it can be the way with a ghost legend pre and we'll happily throw in one of these shakers. And these are the really good shakers. Yeah, I did feel the before, big, they're solid. Big ones, solid, excellent shakers. And we do sell them as well for $14.95. Good. Um, still got some stocks of our balanced way yep. available. So $99.95 for 100 serves, less than $1 a serve, that works out. <laughs> uh, available in, in chocolate, vanilla and cookies and cream. If you go into any of the stores now, we've got a sample that we can mix you. Because a lot of people will go, oh, I don't, I'm not sure if I want to change, yeah. you know, what's it like? We can mix you up a protein shake on the spot yep. and get you to Easy. try it. So that is still going. Um, we bought a lot, but we're over halfway through them. Yeah. So um, I reckon another couple of weeks and we'll be out. Exciting. Uh, and just to finish off, uh, this Friday is Black Friday, yep. so which is a a online sale day. Okay, yes. Yeah. So I've had a lot of people ask what it is. I'm like, I, I, I just say I have no idea either. Yeah, Black Friday has become a online sale day. So yep. everyone, okay. all businesses online, if you've got websites, etc., will tend to have specials on. Mm -hmm. So we will be doing that as well. So keep an eye on our new website, which is uh, really easily navigatable. Uh, perfectly optimized for all panels, computer, tablet, everything. So check it that out, australiamuscle.com.au. That will start at midnight on Thursday. Yeah. Uh, so we have got lots of specials. There's a lot online already now, which are basically a buy one, get one special. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. So there's like buy one, get one free. There's buy one, get one half price. There's a whole bunch of those already online. Uh, otherwise, the Black Friday sale will go online at midnight on Thursday and run through the weekend. Good. Online only. Good. All right. That's it. Nothing else to add? Nope. Think we covered everything? Yep. Thanks, guys. We will catch you all next week. Don't forget, this episode is brought to you by Australian Muscle and Australian, Australian Muscle, Muscle the gym. gym. And for all purchases online, it's free Australia-wide delivery. Exactly right. We'll catch you guys next week. See ya. Bye. It's nice. It's still very good. Yes. <laughs>